there. Today I am in my living room because I figured I could change it up a little bit. So today um, I'm not playing a game, but I figured I could, you know, make a few tutorials on Sony Vegas Pro just because I use that and I have a lot of fun with that. And um, the reason why I'm making this tutorial, it's because I came across a tutorial for like this awesome smooth zoom from Baker. I don't know his full name of a YouTube channel. I just found out about his channel. But, you know, I'm going to put the link below for that video just so you guys can see what it is. Um, I wanted to use that, but it's on After Effects and I don't know how to use that. I've tried, but I can't. So today I'm actually going to show you an alternative. Not as good, but that can make some sort of replacement for it on Sony Vegas Pro. All I have to say is that for this tutorial, for this type of zoom, for this type of uh, transition to say, because it's not an actual transition, because you're building it yourself, uh, you're gonna need the Sapphire uh, Effects, I think that's how it's called. Uh, new blue is not needed, but the Sapphire is needed. So if you wanna figure out how to get it, you know, it's up to you. But to make that transition, it would be very much helpful for you because, or else it's not gonna work. I mean, you could try to find an alternative, but I don't think there's something for that. I don't know. Okay, so I guess let's begin right now. Okay, so I opened up everything. So technically, um, as simple as it can get, you're just going to need to find an audio that you want and a footage that you want. I figured, you know, Until Dawn page on Vine, why not make an Until Dawn kind of thing. So uh, I'm just going to show you as simple as it can get with just two footage. Uh, very normal. I, I'm going to go for three as well just to show you the effect. Um, on multiple clips one after the other um, I just need to find my clip all right so you've got your two clips uh, so from here I'll show you exactly how I do it I figured you know because I looked at Baker's tutorial I was quite impressed with it and then I was sad because I couldn't do it myself um, I watched it in slow motion because he does show it, and I realized that it was something that could have, you know, that we could do on Sony Vegas Pro with the Saphir edit pack. So we're gonna try to copy it, try to make it as uh, resembling as possible for Sony Vegas. So we're gonna do that. It's a bit, a bit more complicated since you have to build it up yourself, but the effect as it is, I like it, so that's, if you want to do it, you can go ahead. Alright, so what I do, I just push the clips one on top of the other just to have like one tiny little thing, or even two if you want, but, I mean, not too much. I just go for one just because. Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're going to go in the, was it, pan crop uh, option of the clip, and it's going to open your pan crop option as it is. You're gonna go on your last frame, the very last frame that you have. Um, you're gonna just back off five frames. Did I do five? One, two, three, four, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do is that uh, depending on the effect of your zoom, you're gonna have to adjust your clip, uh, you know, the way you want it. So let's say you want that one to smooth transition in. Uh, you're gonna have to make the last frame, let's say just slightly more zoomed in. Uh, make sure you disable the snapping, whatever, so you can make it a bit smoother. You're gonna do that, and then again, one, two, three, four, five. Um, double click, make it a point in uh, your work. And then the last frame, zoom in really tightly. So as much as you, well, let's say that, that's fine. Uh, change your, um, the points in your um, in your zoom to make it a bit more smooth. So the f uh, five frames before the end, right click on that point, make it slow, 
And then the last frame, the one that you zoom in, make it smooth. Uh, save it up because we all know that sometimes it's a bitch when it fucking breaks. So let's see. It's going to zoom in slowly and then poof. So let's see. You know, not that bad for a start. Alright, so now we're going to go on to Matt. The thing is that since you want him, this frame, to zoom into his face but not too close, you have to go outside of the frame. But how are you going to do that? There's going to be the entire black background that you're going to see. Well, there's the alternative that I'm offering you. You're going to go in Video Effects and you're going to go into your Saphir... Oh, that's a lot. You're going to go just into the Saphir section. You're going to go to Blur More Mole Curves. That's how it's called. And you're going to drag it onto the clip, the second clip. And that's where it gets a bit confusing. But once you get the hold of it, you're going to be fine. All right, so as it is, this can multiply the frame uh, either on, you know, horizontal or vertical, whatever you want to make it. Uh, it can change the distance and it can also zoom in the way you want it to be. But that's how you're going to have to mess with it a little bit. So as it is, it's very normal. So what you're going to do is that you're going to click on the little clock or whatever there is next to the Z dist, whatever, uh, that's, I don't know. And you're also going to do the same for blur uh, that over here. Um, you're going to click on the clock over here as well. And what that's going to do is that it's going to work on the blur of your, uh, your clip. Let me, let me move this so you can actually see this correctly. All right. So if you click on that, the, f the first one has to be a uh, quarter, so it's going to be a bit more blurry, so we don't have to see that much of the other clips that we're going to see outside. And the distance, since you're zooming in, has to be further going in closer. So what you're going to do is that on the Z dist, you're going to change that for two. And then to change the background, you're going to go wrap X and Y. You're going to make tile for both of these. And don't bother with the clock, since you zoom in, we're not going to see them anyway. And then five frames in, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to put the Z disk back to one. And make sure to click on the clock or else it's not going to zoom in. It's just going to keep going with what you're choosing. And the quarter, put it back at full. So now the zoom is gone and you're back at it. It's just going to transition a bit better. Now we're going to do the same thing with, you know, the slow to smooth, the points, the points on this, you're going to have to change them as well. So the first frame, I think my head is hiding this, but I'm not sure. I'm going to cut my head away if anything. Oh, not that way. So you're going to right click on that. So you're going to make it fast this time, fast. And then the fifth to the fifth frame, you're going to make it slow. We're going to, we, we want it to make it as smooth as possible. So you're going to save that, and since you're zooming in, we're going to go with the same kind of idea. Uh, pan and crop again. At the end of this, uh, at the end of your clip, just make it zoom in slightly so the illusion of zooming in continues. You're going to save that, and then put it back one frame on top of the other. And let's see how it goes. That's how as close as I can get it. I hope that's fine with you guys, but it's really like, I like this feeling of the smooth, smooth, smooth zoom. So that's what I'm trying to go for. And that's really, you know, it doesn't look as good as from the after effect, but I can't use that. And I'm not gonna try to go for that when, you know, I could just continue with uh, Sony Vegas. That's the best I can give you. Uh, unfortunately, with the Baker tutorial, uh, you can make it rotate. I can't do that. It's just plain zoom in, zoom out that I can give you. But that's what I've been using for the past few days, and I think it works pretty good. So if you want to look at it from the beginning, let's see. I mean, I 
not that bad, right? I don't know. I I like I like that effect. It's it gives still that kind of transition that seems interesting um, without using an actual transition. So you're gonna have to work with your frames and your shots individually. But I kind of like how it turns out. So it's up to you. And if you want to make it a bit more believable or a bit more smooth, you can always just trick her with this. But that's the best I can give you, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful to any Sony Vegas Pro editors. I don't know anything about the right words to use, but I know I'm an editor and that's what I use. So if you guys want to use that, feel free. It would be great though if you could, you know, I don't know, like, uh, let people know that you're using my tutorial and share this video if you want and, you know, bring more people and make them see this and like, oh look, you guys can do that too, but yeah. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you and uh, if tutorials are fun. I mean, if you want more tutorials, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you want to learn something specific, I could try to give it a try. <laughs> try to give it a try. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. I don't know. Stay weird, you guys. It's a fun way to go, and I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. Bye!